Hello and welcome to the Crystal Stairs ECE Resource Center. My name is Tandra. And my name is Lupe Navarro. And today we are welcoming spring. So Miss Lupe, we have a book here to share today called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Wow, that was one of my favorite books. I love this book as well. So we're gonna read this book. And while we're reading, I want you to listen for the parts that talk about the metamorphosis of the very hungry caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four delicious strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a terrible stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, so I love reading about the Very Hungry Caterpillar's metamorphosis into a butterfly. It's one of the things I love about spring. What is your favorite part of spring? You know, it's so funny you say that because I love to see the leaves changing and I love to see everything changing and just like this beautiful caterpillar, he blossomed into a beautiful butterfly. Change is very beautiful because just like the caterpillar, you blossomed into a beautiful butterfly. So that's one of the things that we love about spring. We're gonna give you a moment to stop the video and talk to your friends. What do you love about the changes that happen during springtime? Welcome back. I hope you were able to discuss and have conversations about what beautiful things that you see changes during our springtime. I wonder if you talked about the birds singing. Yes. And the weather getting warmer. Yes, the sun, the beautiful sun coming out. We've been having a lot of rain. So that is another change that we see of the beautiful spring. I actually did see something through my window this morning. I saw beautiful flowers blossoming. Nice. And that is actually one of my nectarine trees that I have. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> All right, so we just want to encourage you to look for change all around you. And parents and caregivers, click the link to the activity video. We're going to show you how to make a very fun and vibrant rainbow fruit salad with mm -hmm. children. All right, so we thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you here again on the next Fresh Friday.